Hello everybody, I hope this finds you well. i try to film this with the beautiful glow of the morning coming in the window. This is a video response to a video, I'll show the link below, Lorelei, I believe is how it's said, it's the name of the channel. She asked questions. Um, I found them interesting. Kind of had a laugh about some of it because uh, the question, you know, if you had a chance, I think it basically sums up if you had a chance to ask God a question. I don't know the specific God it's talk, she was talking about. Let's just say God of the Bible since that's the one I follow. Uh, he had a chance to ask a question. What would it be? What would you ask the great creator, divine creator? What would you ask him? Of course, uh, I believe that Lorelei is a uh, um, try to think of a word, but I can't. I like her. A, an intelligent woman, but uh, I had to respond. A, I'm a little joker, you know. I said uh, he already answered my questions. And, uh, other people are kind of curious as what the question was and what the answer was. I'm sure. It has, takes a little story. Some of you will believe it, some of you won't. It doesn't matter, believe it or not. But uh, I did get a chance to ask the Great Spirit some questions and got answers. I'm not going to go into how I got to that position. Just say, for the most part of my life, I. I was a non-believer. Actually, I would say I hated the whole God thing. Pretty mean about it, too. You see, uh, one day he struck me down, and I got to have a face-to-face, -face, so to say. Since there was no face, I had outer body experience, you might say, near death experience, some call it, but uh, my first question was, uh, where were you when I needed you, when I called for you? His answer was right there with you. obvious what the next question was and why didn't you do anything? Well, the Nancy answer then was a, a surprise. And um, it was your, you lived through it, didn't you? You got through that hard time, didn't you? Things I attributed to luck, I guess, or skill, which he informed me he gave me. Guess. He was kind of upset that I used them wrong. I didn't ask him why I was in hell, where I went with my dear death experience. He pulled me out. What I asked him was why he pulled me out. That was my third question. His answer was, I'm not finished with you yet. You see, you didn't go all that trouble to get me through all that crap before in the past. 
when I had rejected him, he was still there. I'm telling you how many times. You see, I was one of those fools that liked to rush in. I was always one heading into the fire, you might say. Looking for the fight. Hardy, hardy. That was me. Some years ago. I changed. Completely different person now than I was then. And uh, I'm actually grateful for my little visit to hell. So. Think on that one. Don't ask why God sent me to hell, because I already knew why I was in hell when I was there. You will too, when you're there. Who are we? The clay. To tell the potter what to make of us. He can make a new vessel of you, as he did of me. And you will no longer have to fear death. And not fearing death will be able to live a more abundant and freer life. Because only the braves are free. I know, you're scared. Courage doing it even when you're afraid. It gets better. Yeah. Some of you watching thinking all oh, this crazy old religious nut. But I know what you said the moment you decided not to believe in God. Not all of you, but some of you. It was this moment in your life when you said in your mind, or even to someone else, God. If there's a God, he says this is wrong, what I'm doing, and fucking. Thinking to yourself, remember back, I think you remember that moment. Many of you will remember that very moment when you said, if this is wrong, according to God, then fucking. You are probably on the same list I was on. You can be fa uh, saved, you know. Hopefully you won't have to go through what I did to get it. Know that he was there when you called on him. He just didn't do what you wanted. Because God does not want spoiled children. He wants overcomers. And life is the forge All these hardships are forging us, creating something better, stronger, purer. God sent the devil. He's like the wind that blows upon the forge to make the coals hot. Stir things up. Without that which is there to overcome, you will not be overcomers, will you? Be made pure. Let him work the 
forge. I will pray for you, all of you, and I uh, send you my love. Have a good evening, good day, whatever. Blessings all.